Question three. Alan has eight cards shown above. He chooses one card at random. On the probability scale below, mark the points A, B and C where these three events happen. So here is our probability scales, zero at the start, um, suggesting an event is impossible uh, of happening, and one at the other end, which it is certainly going to happen. So statement A says the probability of Alan choosing a card with whales written on it. I need to place that letter A onto the probability scale. So firstly, I need to work out the probability of it happening. So we write probability as successful outcomes over total outcomes. So Wales uh, comes up one, two, three, four times out of a total eight. So we could cancel that fraction down there if we wanted to. So we need to find a number that goes into both four and eight. Well, four goes into four and it also goes into eight. How many times does four go into four? Once. How many times does four go into eight? Twice. You may have noticed that four is obviously half of eight straight away. B. The probability of Alan choosing a card with France written on it. So there are no cards at all that say France on it. So that's zero out of a total eight. C. The probability of Alan choosing a card with England written on it. There are two cards that say England. So that's two out of eight. Again, we know we can cancel this down if we wanted to. Um, to so we find a number that goes into both two and eight. Well, two goes into two and two goes into eight. How many times? Two goes into two once and two goes into eight four times. Okay, so now we have our probability. We can place it more accurately on our probability scale. So A is the probability of whales coming up and that is a half. So as you can see, the halfway mark is already written here for you. So I'm going to draw an arrow. You must be very accurate when you're drawing this. You can't be, uh, you can't be off or you'll lose the mark. So here is going to be event A. Event B is choosing a card with France written on it, zero out of eight. So again, that's already written on our scale here. That is impossible because there are no cards with France written on them. And that's event B. So I must label uh, my arrows also. Event C is choosing a card with England written on it. And we've canceled that down to one quarter here. So if I know that this here is a half, then one quarter is going to be halfway between here and here. So exactly halfway, it's about here. And that is event C. And that's one quarter. Okay, if you haven't cancelled them down and you're left with four over eight and two over eight, then you'll see here that one is going to be an eight out of eight chance of happening, because that's certain. A, that's going to be a four out of eight chance, that's a half. And as we said, two out of eight, well, two is half of four. So again, I'm gonna come halfway in between zero and four. So that's where I would put them if I hadn't canceled them down, exactly the same. Part B. Probability of Alan choosing a card at random with Scotland written on it is one in eight. What is the probability of Alan choosing a card that does not have Scotland written on it? So if the probability of getting one that has Scotland written on it is one over eight, then one that doesn't have Scotland written over it is going to be whatever's left over. So it's going to be the other seven because one and seven will give you the full eight out of eight. So that there will give you one mark. You get one mark for B, one mark for A, and one mark for C. You're allowed probably anywhere in between here to get the mark for C, but try and be obviously as accurate as you possibly can.